Oh man, do you remember this game? Feels like it's been forever since we played this game. Oh, hello little logging truck. That's a logging truck, right? Lumber mill, yeah. Oh, pause, there we go. Um, welcome back, this is Cities... Oh, I know how to say it, I promise. Cities Skylines, we are back in Lakedale. Uh, this is the newest pollution-creating industry that we added along the railroad tracks and the highway. And we have our major city over here, still upgrading even. <laughs> bing, bing. Oh, great to be back. It's been a really long week. Uh, I don't think it's been a week since the last episode, but pretty close. Uh, and I, I apologize for that, but it's been such a crazy, crazy week. Uh, our cargo trains are still doing well. No no congestion in the trains. This is a this is a bit of a nightmare, but it's moving. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so absolutely crazy week. Um, it was Autism Awareness Day at uh, the beginning of the weekend, and then over the weekend was Easter. So I've just been on the Autocraft server just like a maniac, really. Um, did a live stream talking about bullying... These are one-way streets, going that way, and then one way that way. And then that takes you back to the highway. Okay, so these would be the guys coming off to go there. I kind of wonder if it'd be worth having a whole other road for pedestrian traffic. Like, aside from these guys. Because this one goes all the way back here. So the only way, if I put residential up here, which is the plan, the only way is to cut through the industrial section. You know what? I think it'd be fine for now. Can we go up and over? We can. It's kind of weird. <laughs> that is kind of weird. But whatever. Uh, you can go. So now what I like to do, I think I showed you last episode, but that was like forever ago, is I'll do a one-way street, or actually it's a two-way street, but I'll do a, whichever street, and then change it up. And we're going to put trees. So we can upgrade this. Like so. So then if we right click, we can change the direction. Where is, which way is this? Oh, that's just because there's nobody there. So we change the direction to get them moving out. Yeah. And then, uh, no. Well, yeah, actually, we do want this to be a one-way street. That's fine. Okay, so they can come through here, come through here, and then connect. Good. And then from here, we're going to have much smaller one-way streets. Nope. Okay. And our favorite little grid pattern. We do have one neighborhood that's not in a grid pattern. This one will be. Good enough for now. And then uh, we, we want... Do we want high density? I don't see why not, right? So yeah, high density, high density. Why not is the most famous last words I say all the time just before getting myself into trouble. Um, there we go. Uh, so yeah. Um, did a live stream where I was talking about bullying and autism and particularly bullying within the autism community. Um, children with autism going to school and playing on Minecraft servers, stuff like that, being bullied all the time. And it's the second year I've done it, the second year I've asked the Minecraft community for help because I have a Minecraft server. You guys go ahead and build. And the first year was pretty amazing because people uh, responded. People made videos and talked about it and and really 
really got involved and shared their their stories, which was amazing. So then this year, some people participated, uh, but not as many. Not as many people made videos, but the videos that were made were amazing. But then, while I was live streaming, all of a sudden, well-known YouTubers that make you know Minecraft YouTube videos started showing up in my stream they were they were there to chat and they were tweeting out the URL to my stream they were telling people about it to come and check it out because of what I was talking about uh, let's load this down and take a look at our our utilities and things water is still pretty good garbage is getting there hmm we have our plants up here which don't service out here at all so that's a problem education we will need schools out here for sure uh, pollution yep yeah, big pollution spots right there and traffic red 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 these are all red spots but these are our spots this is pretty much the only red road well this is a red road as well but it's all moving see how it's moving uh, while well, they're getting bunched up because the trucks are going in. But it's fine. All in all, not bad. And this is empty. So let's do away with you. Uh, coal, coal. Okay. These are energy, and we have a few incinerators here, which will provide power over here. Now, for extra incinerators, we can put... Nope over here because this is going to be heavy pollution area anyway correct correct so let's put that there why are we missing power all of a sudden and this one here are we just not connected or is this just not enough power i think there's not enough power oh it's because this got disconnected i see so that should be a connected now. We really got to start building in here and over here to get everything connected so we don't rely on this one power line. We need redundancy. It's called redundancy. Okay, everybody good? You burned down, that's fine. Uh, a couple incinerators in here where there will already be pollution. Fine. Now, what we need is... We're going to put all of our services here. They're going to get out that way. I think. Mm. Yep. Yeah. See now, with these one-way streets, it gets tricky. Um, so, yeah, I was live streaming about bullying and, and autism, and then all of a sudden my, my Twitter notifications were going through the roof. Uh, Minecraft players on YouTube, they were tweeting out the URL telling people to go and check out my live stream. And then some of them actually showed up in my live stream. Is there a fire truck? There's one fire truck. I don't think one fire truck will do the job. Nope, did not do the job. Sorry, guys. This is my... I'm going to continue building out here. Uh, this will be public trains. I'll keep that up in a little bit. But right now, I want to get this going. We need our... Yeah, they're abandoning because there's no workers. We need these people to move in. Uh, in fact, cargo train. So if we put a train station down here, 
I want it on the other side, though. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Like, I want to be able to place this and then put the road. But I can't because it has to be along a road, so there has to be a road first. And there's already a building here. I'm going to, de to destroy the building. Oh, it's, that's my fire station. I can't just plow that. But I can relocate it. Which works out better anyway. Okay, so... You come down... Here... And then... Like so. Okay, I think that's good. So let that train go, and then pause. And... Remove. So... Like so. Sure. <laughs> They're all connected, right? So, we're good. Let's give this guy some water. And it's got power, look at that. Reaching for it, but it's got it. YouTubers started showing up in the, I know I keep uh, breaking up the story and everything, but YouTubers started uh, showing up in the stream. Look at the traffic. Um, and then started showing up on the server. <laughs> Um, yeah, they showed up on the stream and I, I told them, I said, you know, you're, you're, you could be whitelisted. You can come and say hi to the kids on the server. And sure enough, they did. They actually did. And it was amazing. It was amazing for me. I was, a, I was a fan of these people. I've been watching their videos for years, but, um, more so I was just, I, I was blown away for the sake of the children. I wonder, no. So I want to make this a one-way street so it doesn't put in the lights, but then these people that get off the train will have to just, they can't go home. <laughs> they have to be able to drive this way. But then also they have to be able to get out if they want to. They have to be able to come over here. So let's go that way. Yeah, it'll do. Um, so yeah, I ended up with all these um, YouTube Minecraft players who have like millions of subscribers. Like, big, big audiences, which is huge because um, for all the years that I've been trying to raise awareness of autism, usually whenever I speak about autism or write about autism or anything like that, it's usually within the autism community. Empty. Finished. Getting rid of landfills. I don't like them. I don't want them. They make garbage. They make garbage. They, they take garbage and then they make pollution. And that's not good. These guys do as well, but they burn the stuff and make energy. Which we are getting very dangerously close to being low on. So anyway, um, they were joining this the server, and I was happy to meet them. Um, you know, virtually face-to-face, -face, you know, in Minecraft. But I was even more happy that the children were getting to see them because they were just as big of fans as I was. So it made their day. Like, they were over the moon, so happy. And that is what made me more happy than anything. I mean, I was super happy to meet them and, and so forth. But for the children, it was way better.
clinic for everybody to be healthy. That looks good. It's not ideal with these one-way streets. I mean, it's ideal to keep the traffic moving, but it's not ideal for people getting around. Like, they, these people have to drive all the way down here and around and over and over here to get to work. <laughs> so not ideal. So anyway, these, uh, these YouTubers joined the server and just gave everybody the time of their lives. It was so exciting. Like, I had some children that get mad at me because I didn't tell them and they missed out, but I couldn't tell anybody because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know until, I mean, I was live streaming and then they tweeted it and then they were in the chat and then they were offering to come on the server. It happened that fast, like, like not even an hour in between all these things happening. I had no way to let everybody on the server know. These bridges are so wonky. But it didn't want me to put a road going across, so it is what it is. Our traffic is doing rather well. Uh, there are some places that are kinda, kinda messed up, but I mean, it's not too bad. Our university is doing well. We have, we still have places to build out here and here. Uh, up here and over here. We just have to wait for the demand to come up. And as you can see, the, the demand for industrial is coming up. So I think what I will do is add in another road over these tracks to help these people get over this way. This is kind of silly, but... Oh, look, right, right as somebody starts building there. Sorry, guy. So that'll get some traffic around. It's ugh, not ideal. We can fix it later. But this should get some of the people up and around. And maybe if we can, like that. Yes. Uh, might as well get those two dots as well. And I'd like to get some office space in and around the train. Yeah. There we go. So that will finish off the episode, I think. I will let this run for a little bit before the next episode. I promise the next episode will not be, uh, you know, I don't know, what was it, five days away? Uh, I am done with being so busy. Oh my goodness. Traffic is going good. Nobody's using it. Oh yeah, 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 look at this. A couple cars. So it will get used. These guys are going home. Not bad. Not bad. Um, we'll see how it goes over time, though. I think these will get pretty busy. But that's it for now. For for Lake Dale, the, the end of the episode. And the end of my story about what was happening. Um, still blown away by that. It was just incredible and, and so many happy people. All right, so I shall see you guys next episode. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you have not already. Where should we get a screenshot? Is this a good screenshot? I think this is a good screenshot. Uh, like this. And like this. Oh, with the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye for now.